And even the cost of defending yourself against a frivolous lawsuit might be ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, and that's where the E and O policy covers you. Um, that's where Kaplik steps in, and we offer that not only the indemnity should there be some. But it's really that cost of defense, which is the most valuable benefit. This video is sponsored exclusively by our friends at Kaplik. To get insurance that covers you when you handle claims as an adjuster, visit cplic.net slash adjuster TV. In this adjuster TV exclusive, I sit down with Kenton Kaplan from Kaplik to learn more about just exactly how E&O insurance works and if you really need general liability insurance as an adjuster. And here's Kenton. I'm Kenton Kaplan with Claim Professionals Liability Insurance Company. Uh, we refer to ourselves as Kaplik. We offer professional liability policies um, predominantly to independent adjusting firms, independent adjusters, umpires, appraisers, E&O insurance, errors and emissions, um, which is a necessity in the life of a field adjuster. Kaplik was uh, been around for 16 years. It was founded in 2004. Uh, it was started by a group of independent adjusting firms and the primary purpose was to serve a need in the marketplace. Back then, the market was a hard market cycle. Independent adjusters were having a tough time finding coverage. Prices were increasing. The coverage was decreasing. And so a group of firms came together and said, I think we can insure ourselves better than national carriers can insure us. So they formed Claim Professionals Liability Insurance Company. Um, and it's really grown from there. And the cool thing is it's not privately owned, it's not a public stock company or anything like that. It's owned by the policyholders. So the, the insureds, the members, are also owners of the company. And so in the last 16 years, you know, it started with a small group of firms and uh, it was really a successful model. Um, and over those years, you know, it's had some great times, it's had some lean times, but overall it's been, uh, it's been great for the industry. And it's amazing to have a company that serves a specific group of professionals. So if you're an independent adjuster or, or in the insurance services industry, uh, this product, this company is designed specifically for those people. So it's not a you know, square peg and a round hole kind of thing. e &O, uh, as a concept, it protects you when an allegation is made that there's inadequate or somehow negligent service or in your professional services. Um, so if you're out at a residence or a commercial building and there's a dispute in the claim, everyone's well aware of the bad faith um, environment and carriers will get sued all the time for coverage or underpayment or delays or whatnot. But what independent adjusters may not realize, they get drug into that a lot. Um, even if they did nothing wrong, if there's any sort of allegation that their professional service was performed inadequately or negligently. That's what the E&O policy covers. So it's not only a good risk management practice for adjusters to have E&O, it's really a necessity. So typically um, it's gonna be generally a dispute in scope or price, just as you see between the carrier and say a homeowner. Um, even though it has nothing to do with the independent adjuster, they might go out and write an estimate and the dispute is really between those other two parties, the adjuster gets roped in. Now, unfortunately, there's also situations where sometimes a mistake is made. It's really costly because it's not so much as just correcting that mistake. Generally, not generally, but oftentimes a lawsuit will develop. And even the cost of defending yourself against a frivolous lawsuit might be ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. And that's where the E&O policy covers you. Um, that's where Kaplik steps in, and we offer that not only the indemnity, should there be some, but it's really that cost of defense, which is the most valuable benefit. You know, essentially, as soon as a, a claim is made, um, or a homeowner, or again, an insured of some sort, comes forward and says, I, I dispute this insurance claim or, or the resolution of it, um, large times the carrier will step in and handle it. But again, the adjuster is always involved. It's not just when a lawsuit is filed. Um, proactively, we can get involved as well. And then we can work with the carrier um, to help get that claim resolved or get the claim tendered to the carrier so that they can defend you um, and it won't trigger your policy. But we're still there to help you through that process. Right, it's not just the monetary benefit. Um, we are there to assist you 
a lot of people, it's funny because the independent adjusters are obviously in the claim world, but it's different when you have a claim against you. Um, and a lot of people fortunately haven't experienced that. And it's a little unnerving when someone's coming and saying you did something wrong. Um, so that's where we step in and we are, you know, hand in hand through that whole process. And if it comes to retaining defense counsel or going to trial or through court and whatnot, that's obviously something we, we handle all of that as well. Some of those high level benefits um, may be common among various carriers, but the difference really with us, because this is what we do, we know the independent adjusting world. We're not some company selling, we don't sell homeowners and auto and e &O. We sell e &O to independent adjusters. Um, so we manage all our claims in house, um, managed by people who are independent adjusters. So, or have been in the independent adjusting world. So it's, a, it's something we know, and that makes us better at it than the other companies that may offer similar coverages. Our minimum limits price, and again, it's revenue based, but if you're small and, and maybe you handle a few hundred files a, a year, um, you're, you're probably eligible for that minimum limits pricing. And you'll find financially, you'll come out way ahead than paying the, even at five bucks, it doesn't sound like a much, but a couple hundred files is gonna be far more than you'll pay for your own policy. Two is if you end up taking assignments from more than one firm. Um, sometimes you might be open to assignments from multiple firms, in which case it's just a good management practice. Have your own, then you always know what you have. You don't have to worry about, maybe you have a, a policy with a big carrier, but there's a $50,000 deductible that they might push back on you. Um, for your claims. It's better to just carry your own, you know what you got, and you always have it no matter who you're working for or where you're at. Certainly there are um, minimum underwriting guidelines, but for us, um, for claim professionals liability, we, our primary underwriting guideline is 60% of your annual revenue has to be derived from the insured or self-insured claim process. So basically you have to be in that claim channel somewhere or that insured channel. So Although it is a lot of independent adjusters, we do do some experts, umpires, appraisers, consultants. It really is, if you look at, well, oftentimes you'll get an assignment from a client, they'll send you a list of expectations or requirements, maybe they'll even make you sign a contract. Often you'll find e &O requirements in that contract. We've tried to make it easy, um, and, and over the last 16 years, not only are we growing our membership, continuing to provide great benefits, our pricing has remained consistent, we don't go up and down with the market, but we try to roll out new member benefits as well. Um, and we're always offering more and more in addition to our policies. One of those things we added recently was an online application process. It really takes about 10 minutes. It's some simple demographics. Uh, we ask your estimated revenue. We ask you to submit a copy of your resume if you have fewer than five years of experience. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then you just attest to the history, if you've had any claims made against you in the past and whatnot. And we turn around a quote, uh, usually within a few hours and most every time, same day. And most people we find are pretty surprised. Our pricing is great, our coverage is broad, and it's really because we're here to serve that market. We've been a profitable, strong financial company for many, many years. But our primary goal is to fill that space for the independent adjuster. So it's to make that coverage available at an affordable price. It's not to um, push profitability as you might see with more national carriers. Yeah, so while the, the E&O insurance is gonna cover you for say a negligent professional service being performed, the GL, the general liability coverage is gonna be more bodily injury and property damage. So it could be something as simple as a ladder tipping over and falling through someone's window or onto someone's car. Or if a homeowner gets hurt during the course of your inspection and makes a claim that you were somehow negligent or responsible for that injury. The nice thing about our GL uh, is that it's supplemental to the E&O. So there's no gaps between the two. But generally speaking, it's gonna be covered either under the GL or the E&O. We have seen instances where an adjuster might have re &O insurance, but GL through another carrier. And that carrier may attempt to say, well, you were performing professional services at the time of the accident, and your other GL, that's not through Kaplik, 
doesn't cover that. Um, so the nice thing about it is, is those two coverages, um, when you buy them as a package policy, you have no gaps in coverage. Again, it's rare, and we hope that it's, it stays rare, but um, you never know when it's gonna happen. And again, for the pricing that Kuplik offers these coverages at, it's really worth that peace of mind. Yeah, so the E&O and the GL, that's really, you know, that, that's our bread and butter. That's what we do, that's how we started. That's our main product. But what we found as we try to grow, and you know, like I said, our coverage and our pricing has been consistent, um, but we wanna offer more benefits. So we really wanna make it one-stop shopping for anyone in that insurance service industry to get all the coverages they need without having to go you know, three different places. So what we've done over the years is we've offered, we've added on additional coverages. So one such is the drone coverage um, that's fairly recent and that's been a new phenomenon um, where field adjusters are starting to use more drone capabilities. So we've added that coverage on to our GL, uh, to our general liability. We also have partnered with outside um, carriers um, through Kaplik to offer employment practices liability. So that's if you have employees, say, in your independent adjusting firm, and you get a claim against you, say, for wrongful termination or something like that. Uh, that's what the EPLI coverage um, is there for. And then another really new phenomenon in the last couple of years is cyber liability. We're seeing this required more and more of independent adjusters and independent adjusting firms from the large client carriers that retain them to go out for assignments. Um, and so we've made that available as well to our entire membership. Uh, and it's a really pretty cool coverage. Um, again, it's not something you think about in your daily life, but we all see it, right? And you get the, the hacking emails and the phishing scams and all that. And most of the time you delete it and it's harmless. But uh, every once in a while, somebody will get access to your data and your systems get locked up. Um, or your data gets destroyed, or even something like ransomware, which we've all heard about. These are the kind of exposures that everyone has um, in our personal and professional lives. So we've made this coverage available to everyone that, that has the E&O and GL in the Kaplik world. And it's been, it's been really great. Um, I love being able to offer it to people. They'll get a contract from a carrier for a new assignment, and the carrier is requ requesting them to carry their E&O, requesting GL, and they're requesting cyber. And you know, we're able to go back and serve that need and say, yes, you can get all three right here. What differentiates us from everyone else? I like to say, and, and I found that it's been true. So I've been with Kaplik for a few years now, and it's been great. It's a first name basis. So if you buy a policy and never have a claim, you might be okay. Right? You pay your premium and that's the last time you ever think about it. It's pretty cool because of the way we're set up. We know our insureds on a first name basis. Um, so they can call the office. A lot of times they're, they're special needs and they're special requests and they have a carrier might be needing a, an add on to the policy or a different limit just for this particular claim or whatever. We're very flexible in the services we can provide. So when you call the office, you know our receptionist, you know our underwriter. You can talk to me or the, the, the president of the company or any one of our board members. Um, and it's pretty neat, that environment that's been created within that industry. Um, and you go to conferences or conventions and it's like, are you a complete insured? I'm a complete insured. And it, it, there's an immediate connection um, between those people. So I think it's pretty neat um, and it's neat to see that happen. You know, we're really trying to get more people to hear about us. The people that do hear about us, they love us. Our retention rate, if you take out, say, like the retirements and the acquisitions, is well over 90%. That's really the best compliment we can get. Once people hear about us and decide to go with us, they don't leave. And that's something we're very proud of. So really it's just, if you're in the, again, the insurance service industry, and you're in the uh, independent adjusting world, I really just want you to know about us and check us out, talk to us, and I'm really confident that you won't be disappointed. Kaplik uh, is a member-owned company, so when you purchase a policy, part of the total cost of that policy 
is a share allocation. So what that means is you're actually buying a share of ownership in the company. That comes with voting rights. It comes with dividend rights um, in those years where the board of directors is able to approve a dividend. Probably of most importance to people, it represents a refundable portion of your premium cost. So it is on a five-year vesting schedule, but what you'll see is if you stick with us, as most everyone does, if someday you were to non-renew or cancel, maybe you're, you're hanging it up and retiring, you'll have built those shares of stock up and that becomes a refundable portion of the cost. So some of that policy cost, instead of renting it, say, from another carrier where you just pay it and lose it, it's actually getting saved and accumulated for you and then it gets paid back to you in full when you leave the company. It's actually really pretty cool and there's no downside. So when you hear, oh, I'm gonna be an owner in the company, it sounds a little scary. There's no downside risk. Um, you're really just getting that financial benefit of the, the value of a share of stock or you can actually purchase up to 250 shares of stock if you so choose. So it's easy for us, like I've been in this world for a long time. So if you're just a new adjuster starting out, maybe you haven't gone through those experiences. Again, like I was saying earlier, you haven't had a claim made against you. Right, right. Um, and it's scary when people start accusing you of doing something wrong and you know you didn't do anything wrong, but it doesn't stop them. And the next thing you get a letter from an attorney and if you're out there on your own, you may not know what to do with that letter. Yeah. Um, and you know, that's, that's where we come in, right? And you turn that over to us and we help you know, you, we help you respond or we respond for you. We really like to try to find a way to help people out. So most common, it'll be um, either you do work outside. So like we don't cover attorneys or agents or public adjusters, for instance. Um, so that might disqualify you um, or it's an experience factor. We like to see five years of experience, but we do um, accept sort of transferable skills. So maybe you're coming from the construction industry or residential home inspections or appraisals or something where you're kind of in a similar industry, even if you're not doing claim inspections. Yeah, so our website is, is great, www.cplic.net. Uh, there is an apply online feature right on the website, but better than that for our members, there's other resources. Uh, we offer risk management resources, letter templates, forms, um, guides for dealing with experts and that kind of thing. So again, we try to make it more of a, it's not just selling a policy. We're really trying to work hand in hand with our members and help them grow their own businesses and be successful. Head on over to kaplik.net slash adjuster TV right now to make sure that you've got the coverage that you need to protect you when you run claims as an adjuster. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.